back to the 6th World Youth Trickball Championships in Singapore at the Basari Sports Centre. We, we have a great game for you. The M18 boys, Singapore versus Chinese Taipei. As Singapore to start the ball here. Oh, this is the finals. Uh, good luck to both teams. Singapore finding their captain, Gerald. Goes for the first shot. Caught by Chinese Taipei there. Chinese Taipei going for a cross court of their own. Sending it to number 6, their right wing. Shoots a hard face ball at Aiden, the FP. Wow, what speed. Uh, such a speed. It's really, 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 really fast uh, shot by the team Chinese Taipei number 6. Uh, Chang Ting Yu. I believe... Uh, a a tra uh, travelling violation there? Chinese Taipei take the chance. Go in for a simple zero step. Shooting in 45, the FP unable to catch. Yeah, I believe uh, it was a fake shot, uh, making it look like a low angle shot, and uh, mm. the last part changes to 45 degrees. Singapore sending it to right wing Aiden. Shoots between the FP and the right wing. Wow, Chinese Taipei! Defense, scrambles! Chinese Taipei, yes. able, to, able to recover it. But do, we, do they have enough passes? Like the yes, they do. Oh, lost point there by the Chinese Taipei right wing. Now oh, this is the final. You can see the crowd. Everyone has come here to watch this match today. After what was an exciting M15 boys final. Left wing Jovan taps the ball. Probably looking to find Gerald again. The team captain for the M18 boys. Gerald does score but... I think there's a foul. There was a foul on the right it side. It should be a travelling violation. Great shot by number 4 from the Taiwan side. Wow, great shot. The deception and also uh, selection. Shooting uh, through the defenders uh, of Team Singapore. It's gonna is 3-1 uh, uh, with uh, Chinese Taipei in the lead. Jovan goes for a shot there. Caught by number 7 from Taiwan. Great shot by number two, Chun Pang. Yes. Uh, we apologize if we uh, mess up to yeah. uh, pronounce the name uh, accurately. Yeah. Passes to number one. A great uh, shot by uh, Team Singapore number one, Aiden C. Wow, a great zero step attack and whoa! Oh, Wait. almost oh. caught. I thought he, I thought he caught it. <laughs> almost caught by Gerald, yes. the, the FP there. Wow. Yes, the, the, the M18 Taiwan boys, the, not only will they get you with the zero step fix, but they are, the person who usually takes their last shot is their CP, who is a left-hander. Gerald shoots, rebound. Frame caught there. Chinese Taipei going for a jump pass of their own. Right wing gets the ball, goes for the face ball. Singapore unable to catch it there. Singapore going back to Aiden. Great recovery by Team Singapore. Left wing Tristan tries to shoot, caught by the Taiwanese FP. Good save by Taiwanese uh, FP, Xia Yongjie. Uh, sorry, uh, Zhang Yu Teng. Chinese Taipei looking to pull the gap even further in this first period. And once again. Number three from Chinese Taipei, Chang Ju Liang. You see Taipei there just using all three passes. And on the last pass is a zero step by the left wing, left hander. Their CP number three. And not just uh, normal passes, they really look like they are about to shoot the ball mm. uh, before they pass to their teammate on the opposite side. Captain Gerald there going for the swab, but caught by number two, 
A left wing from Taiwan. Going for the 15 low angle uh, shot. Mm. Now for, for any of the viewers at home who may not be so familiar with trick ball, when we say swa, it's actually referring to a zero degree shot. So it's when the a right-handed right wing or left-handed left wing jumps up and shoots the ball. Oh, exactly like the captain just demonstrated there. Yes. Shoots the ball down the line. And the reason why it's called swa is to mimic the the sound of a brush. Right? It's the Chinese, uh, it's the Chinese sound of a brush, but apparently. But I guess uh, when the ball actually uh, um, um, cuts through the net, mm. that's the sound that uh, it creates. Oh, that, that's what I heard, but I also heard... Like, how do you say brush in Chinese? Brush in Chinese? Oh, I'm not that... <laughs> <laughs> I'm not that... Uh, Never mind, it's okay. Man Mandarin as well. Yeah. <laughs> but so that's what we're, that's the shot we're referring to when we say swa. Left wing Tristan goes for the cross court to the captain aid to the captain Gerald gets the shot there. Great shot shooting uh pass to the Chinese tape Chinese Taipei defense. Five minutes and forty eight seconds down the clock uh, and the score now is nine six with uh, Chinese Taipei in the lead. And ten six. Seems like in this first period Chinese Taipei their strategy may be to move around the Singapore defense as they keep going for cross courts. I wonder what the kind of adjustment the uh, team uh, Singapore coach will make. Gerald to shoot again. Great Finds shot. the gap between the FP and the right wing. Let's just take a quick replay. Well, just like the previous game, uh, on in the first set, uh, Singapore's down by around five points. Mm. Well, let's see if uh, Singapore can uh, also achieve the, the impossible for this game. Landing call there by the side ref. Left wing Joven jumps up. That the traffic caught action. on the right wing. Wow, left a great wing. 100 degree shot uh, by the left wing. Uh, Cheng Chun Pang. Yes, number two, Cheng Chun Pang. Right wing Aiden to shoot again. He finds the high angle shot. Chinese Taipei. Left wing goes for the spin shot there. Beautiful fake. Let's just see. Jumps up, fakes the 60, and just flicks his wrist, slices it down at 3 on the frame. Sends the ball 45. Great shot. Joven, the left wing, goes for the shot, but unfortunate loss point there. Chinese Taipei get the point. Left wing Tristan gets the point there. Let's see if Singapore can get a stop here. Number three, the right wing. No, number three, the left wing left hander. Actually shoots a lost point here. Seems like the pressure may have gotten to him in that moment. Now three point game, three minutes left. Ah. FP Gerald on the other side, unable to get that second line shot. But it's just a four points lead right now. See if they go to the captain, and they do. Going for the low angle shot, wow. finds the point. It's a three point game. Lost oh. point there. A point loss. As the left wing actually hit his own leg on that shot. Yeah, so perhaps the crowd. And the atmosphere act actually uh, put in uh, some uh, stress for Team Chinese Taipei. Mm. Chinese Taipei with a jump pass here. Goes for the zero step to the right wing. Great deflection by the for a FP there. Violation. Let's see if they get the ball back in the hands of the captain. No, Jovan goes for the shot and he finds the gap between the FP and the right wing. One point game with two minutes left. Yes. 
Chinese Taipei goes for a zero step saw of their own, but caught frame by the side ref. Let's see if Singapore used this chance to equalize in the first period. Nonetheless, there was a great timing by number four and number six uh, from Team Chinese Taipei. If not for that uh, faulty rebound. Looks like they will send the ball to Jaro again. Unfortunately, missing the frame, but fortunately gets the landing call before the lost point. Chinese Taipei swinging the ball back to the other side. Now you can hear the crowd uh, cheering for Team Singapore, shouting defense. Unfortunately, FP Aiden there unable to get that shot. Let's see if they get the balls back. Back in the hands of the captain. They don't. Joven shoots. Caught by Chinese Taipei. Point oh, called there by, by the side ref. Great shot by uh, Chinese Taipei. Team SG chooses the cross court. Oh. Landing caught by the side ref. As Gerald tried to go for the high angle shot. Just unfortunate call there. The Great Chinese shot. Taipei left wing and right wing just slowing down the pace but still finding the gap. Great shot deception by number 5 from Chinese Taipei, Wang Yi Cheng. Making it look like he's about to shoot high and uh, changes to low at the very last second. Great shot there by Tristan, left wing from Singapore. For less than 10 seconds, uh, will Singapore stop this shot? No, it, it's a point scored for Team Thai, uh, Chinese Taipei. Um. Singapore just unable to catch number four shot right now. But for Yu Yu Cheng. I believe that, yes, the score now is uh, 18, uh, Chinese Taipei, and uh, Singapore, 14. Now, Tsung Sao, going into the second period, what do you think Singapore needs to do to get back into this game? Well, they really have to time their defense uh, and uh, when, when they should, uh, when the wingers should run off to uh, cover the lower angle. Uh, especially uh, since Taiwan, uh, Chinese team Chinese Taipei is uh, doing a lot of uh, zero step for their offense. See, it, it seems like right now the the side that Gerald is on, the defense is actually doing a decent job of holding back the attackers. But the defense on the other side with uh, with Aiden, uh, with both Aidens, the FP and the right wing, and Tristan, the left wing, just needs to tighten up their defense if they want to get back into this game. Yes, I do agree on that. Uh, or even uh, perhaps uh, force the uh, Chinese Taipei player to shoot a, a little bit lower, mm. which uh, for this uh, in this game, it doesn't look like uh, he has a high percentage of uh, s uh, s uh, high scoring percentage. Uh, that, that's a good point. The right wing, right wing on Aiden's side has been shooting hi shooting higher mainly. Yes. What do you want to see out of Singapore coming into this second period? Well, perhaps they could uh, use the same uh, strategy uh, by uh, uh, crossing court a little bit more often mm. and, uh, in hopes to uh, wear down the uh, Team Chinese Taipei mm. and uh, go all out on the third set. Chinese Taipei to start the ball here. Wow. They do do a simple zero step. Number six, the right wing. And you could see that uh, number four from uh, Chinese Taipei, uh, Yu Yicheng. Yu Yicheng. Well, actually, the sell his uh, fixed sky really, really well. He got our uh, uh, Singapore defenders uh, on their knees. Gerald, the captain, going for a low angle shot again, but Chinese Taipei reading it well. Yeah, another zero step. Deception shot, making it look like he's going to shoot the uh, low angle and then a uh, quick adjustment in, uh, using his body and hand to shoot the ball out to 7, uh, 45. You can see in that case, Jovan actually ran off early, but Gerald has the hard job there of not only reading the left wing, but getting there in time to cover for the right wing. Now perhaps uh, Team Singapore could, uh, could consider four-man defense on the first line. Perhaps. Chinese Taipei. They are, they're all actually expecting the high ball from Gerald as he's mainly been shooting high this game. 
Gerald making a quick adjustment, going for the sharp shot there. Good variation uh, coming from uh, Jared. Oh, that was a deception shot, but uh, our Team Singapore number one, Aiden C, saw it coming. Great shot there by Gerald, going for the high angle change. Let's just see this off of the cross court, times the jump, cur times the jump perfectly. Takes a quick two steps, goes for the shot. Let's see if Singapore can get a stop here. Chinese Taipei going for their own cross court, shooting against oh, two. Ah, oh, the Very second line good. unable to get that one. Well, they were close though. Great parry. Yeah, number forty-eight, Ruhan, uh, just uh, committed uh, to the front line just a little bit too much. Let's see if Singapore make an adjustment here in their second line. Jovan actually choosing to cross court to Aiden C on the other side. Aiden finds the gap, but it's parried by the Taiwanese side. Oh, an unfortunate error, a passing error by Team Chinese Taipei. Uh, team Chinese Taipei shouldn't be complacent and uh, has to try to convert uh, all position into a point. Left wing Jovan gets a point there. It's now a four point game, with nine and a half minutes left in the second period. Wow, great fake by uh, number four from Chinese Taipei, making it uh, easy for his teammate number six to score the point. Now it, now it happened quite fast, but what number six de did there was he held the ball in more of a lower angle position. Number four uh, held the ball, Yu oh. Yucheng held the ball, and uh... Oh, uh, and then as he skied the number six, uh, Chang, Chang Ting Yi, Chang Ting Yi, uh, he actually held the ball in a lower angle position and then just sliced the ball, sending it 30 to 45 where the FP wasn't. Aiden C going for a shot again, caught by Chinese Taipei. Left wing shoots again. Yeah. Singapore side just unable to get a read on the left wing right now. Uh, if you're wondering why, uh, how come our Singapore left wing uh, isn't uh, in uh, the defense position, or oh, that's if uh, if uh, Taiwan uh, Chinese Taipei player were to sky the ball to the right wing, he wouldn't be in time to uh, catch the low angle shot. So he has to make a gam uh, take a gamble mm. and uh, just uh, run off earlier. Great shot there by the left wing. You can see our Singapore coach uh, for the M18 boys, uh, Coach Ranko. Still looking ready to come. They, they do go to Jero again. He tries for the low angle shot. Actually a lost point, but gets the travelling violation first. Well, in a way, uh, fortunately, it's a travelling violation. Otherwise, it could have been a point given, a point loss. Frame caught there by the ref. Jovan taps the ball to the right wing. Looking to find Gerald again. But Jovan shoots it first. Great parry by the FP there. Caught by the left wing. Right wing jumps up. A great fake there. Wow, making it look like uh, he's about to shoot uh, around 90 degrees and changes to 60. Great shot by the right wing. Tristan will go for a cross court again. Sending it to Gerald, their captain. No luck. Last point there. Well, could uh, the left wing uh, from Team Singapore uh, make a make a the, the, the same kind of uh, performance uh, in his previous game? Mm. I, I I think I think that may be the key here. You you can clearly see the Chinese Taipei are are focusing on stopping the FP Gerald right now. Jovan needs to step up and just take these shots, find the gaps that the Chinese Taipei are leaving. Yes. Let's see if Jovan goes for the shot here. He does, but beautifully caught by the Chinese Taipei FP. Great save by uh, Chinese Taipei number 7, Zhang Deng Xiang. Singapore FP Aiden almost had it, but what a great shot, shot by just Yu Cheng from uh, shot Chinese just a bit too four. strong. Yes, Yu Cheng has been looking very impressive for the Chinese Taipei here, holding down the defenders and scoring through them. 
Wow, oh. yet another big shot. Wow, this, this deception shot is crazy. Let's just take another replay at that. Jumps in, the timing is the complete same as he's 60, but he just spins his wrist again. Sends the ball to the right side of the right wing. Jovan skies to the captain, who goes for that face ball again. That's the point. Now an 11 point game. Of course, nothing is impossible. But it looks tough here for the Singapore side. Great shot by a team now. Chinese Taipei number six. Chang Ting Yu. He actually seeing that the defense hasn't really been covering that low. Just goes for a simple 30. Gets the point. Chinese Taipei team uh, generally uh, are really well uh, well drilled to be able to shoot to the gap. The right wing there. Just a beautiful catch. Goes in for the counter. Shoots a high angle ball. Just on the, the left wing. Great hustle by the Singapore side, but unable to get that one. No, there was a violation on the left wing side. Team Singapore should uh, really watch out for the quick counter attack by Team Taiwan, number four especially. Right after the success uh, successful save, number four would uh, like to come in from the left side and uh, finish up the shot. FP Gerald, another great shot. Well, number 95, uh, Team Singapore player were there to uh, defend the ball, but however, it uh, seems like it's too strong for him to catch. Gerald does get the ball again, but wow. parried by the FP, caught by the Taiwanese right wing. Chinese Taipei left wing does go for the shot. Joven admits that it was a point. What a great sportsmanship like behavior right there. Well, just on left wing, choosing to cross to Joven this time. Stopped by Team Chinese Taipei defense. Well, you could see that the uh, Chinese Taipei team defense are, def it, they are really defending as a team, as a trio. They move together, sliding towards the ball together as a team. And you can see in the fans, actually holding up a sign, Team Singapore number one, Aiden. Wow. I think uh, that must be uh, his parents. Maybe. Let's see if right wing Aiden can turn the tide for Singapore here. Oh, Singapore and Taipei with a 15 point gap. Well, perhaps uh, perhaps the previous game uh, actually took a toll on the Team Singapore. Mm. It was a really, really intense uh, in tight game mm. uh, between uh, Team Macau and uh, Team Singapore. Right wing Aiden goes for the shot, but caught by the Taiwan, by the Chinese Taipei FP. Pass it back to number four. Goes for the cross court, but unfortunate passing error there. No, Coach Fang on the bench telling them to uh, calm down, calm down. We don't need to go for those crazy passes. Uh, with two minutes and uh, twenty seconds left on the clock, I think uh, Chinese Taipei would definitely uh, slow the game pace down right now and take uh, took control of the third set. Gerald going for the low angle shot again, but frame there. Chinese Taipei will stay on the same side. And shooting a swa of his own. Great shot there by number 5, Wang Yicheng. Tristan switching, switching back to Jovan, who has to shoot. Shoots it straight at the FP, beautifully caught. Uh, caught by uh, Zhang Dengxiang from Chin, Team Chinese Taipei well, stopping uh, Joven from uh, scoring Let's just look time. at this zero step again wow, The right wing comes in, holds the ball, fakes like he's going to go lower and just sends it in the gap but the FP wasn't That was the, such a beautiful play Gerald just goes for the face ball well, well, What we always say is if it's working, just don't fix it, it, right? Yes. Exactly if it ain't broke, don't fix it. That's what I was thinking of. <laughs> <laughs> Just like what uh, Team Chinese Taipei number 6 is doing right now. 
Just going for the zero step, shooting the gaps right now. Number one, Aiden goes for the high angle shot again, but caught by Chinese Taipei. Chinese Taipei going for the jump pass here, sends it to the right wing, who goes for the hundred shot. Wow, that that uh, that was a difficult shot to make. Beautiful shot by the right wing there. The ability to uh, jump high enough and uh, deep enough to to shoot that angle is uh, rather impressive. Now Chinese Taipei with the last possession of the period. Swings the ball to the right wing on the other side. Gets the point. Singapore unable to catch that one. Almost caught it. Now at the end of the second period, Chinese Taipei with 39 and Singapore with 21. Thanks so if you're Singapore, oh sorry. Uh, quick update, Chinese Taipei 40, Singapore 22. Now Thanks so if you're Singapore, what do you do to get yourself back into this game? Well, this is a really, really difficult situation that uh, uh, we're in. Uh, but if I were to be in this uh, situation, if I'm the coach or if I'm the player, uh, I guess uh, we have to shoot the ball on uh, first pass or second pass. Mm. Uh, uh, otherwise, uh, we definitely won't have time to uh, turn this around. I, uh, I think also... Other than other than the shooting side, they need to start to tighten up their defense. You know, may maybe even employ a four-man defense here. What 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 would you think of that, Sungsa? Uh, yes. Uh, I would also implement a four-man defense since uh, it doesn't look like our second-line defense from the team Singapore is uh catching much balls. Mm. Uh, I, I guess uh top priority is uh saving the first line uh first line ball. So perhaps uh we could imp uh. I will implement that uh, four-man defense on the stronger side. Mm. But the problem is this: both uh, both sides from uh, Chinese Taipei are great attackers themselves. Mm. So if they were to cross court to the other side, then we will have trouble uh, there as well. Great point, there, Zhang Sao. It is a risky move, but uh, I think they have to do this if they want to have a. Uh, a chance to make a comeback. Mm. Obviously, 12 minutes, anything can happen. 12 minutes with uh, 18 points deficit. With uh, each minute about uh, three, three to four possessions. Three possessions. Yeah. So 36 possessions. So in order to score, to uh, to make a comeback for 18 points, that's 50 percent of the 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 estimated uh, possessions that we have. Mm. So now the third period about to kick off. As Singapore to start. I think they'll be looking to get the ball to their captain again. And they do. Going for the low angle wow. shot. Frame but caught there by the left wing. Behind the back. Sing the ball back over to the other side. Just sticking with the zero step. Frame on that one. Aiden, the FP, passes to the right wing first. Tristan gets the ball. Skies the Aiden C, the right wing. Goes for the shot, but the caught by the left wing of Chinese Taipei. Chinese Taipei subbing out their main right wing, bringing on number 12, Wang Yun Lun. Wow, great uh, second line defense by Team Chinese Taipei. Oh, uh, right now they are using a 3-3-1 three, three, defense. Three, three defenders on the first line, three at the second line, and one um, on the third line. Mm. Well, it's uh, interesting to see that. Left wing Jovan goes for the shot, caught by the Chinese Taipei right wing. Let's see if they give it back to the right wing. And they do. Goes for the zero step swa. Great execution there by the right wing. Chinese Taipei. 
Once again, uh, Ch Chinese Taipei with their signature move. Passes to Tristan, the left wing. He cross crosses caught to Gerald. Gets the shot, goes for the face ball, goes over to apologize to the FP, checks that he's okay. Great shot there by Gerald. Another zero step by the right wing, but landing called as he fumbled the ball a bit. Aiden crosses to Joven, looking to find Gerald. Unfortunate crop ball there. Oh, great parry, but however, fails to secure the ball. Great effort by uh, Singapore CP. Mm. Rohan, number 48. Great shot there by Tristan, the left wing. He's going for a face ball. I just wonder uh, why didn't he do that a little bit more often uh, earlier in the game. Mm. It looks like uh, it's, it's working. Let's see. Singapore sending it to their captain Gerald, who goes for the swa again, but I think it was a landing violation. It's actually oh, a Joven. Oh, a landing by Joven there. Oh, great catch there by Tristan. First catch of the game by this side. Tristan fumbles a bit, crosses caught to Gerald. Oh no. oh no, crosses caught to the right wing who misses the frame on that one. And uh, this is the importance of uh, making your passes uh, accurate to your teammate. Mm. So they can uh, give out a, can execute a great shot. Okay, you don't go for the shot again. Great save by Team Taiwan FP. Oh. The Chinese Taipei right wing tries to go for the second line shot, but unfortunately, shot it a bit too hard. Ball goes out of the court. Chinese Taipei to start the ball. Chinese Taipei using all three passes there. Letting number six take their last pass. Going in with a zero step, so uh, that's just tough for the Singapore defense. Yes, well, I think it's just uh, unfortunate that uh, Team Singapore uh, di uh, didn't make the right adjustment to uh, at the end of their second set and uh, as well as this set. You can see the captain Gerald trying to get his troops hyped up. Singapore adjusting to this jump pass, the left wing, the Chinese Taipei left wing. Well, I do believe that uh, if Team Singapore uh, uh, Im implement the four-man defense, we will have a greater chance of uh, stopping them mm. to uh, catch a little bit more uh, shots. Because, like because uh, most of the time, uh, if you realize, their FP does not uh, finish up the shot. Yes. Uh, but they would uh, go in and help, help to uh, make a sky. Mm. Only the wingers will finish up the shots. So knowing that uh, pattern, the style of play, the strategy from uh, Team Taiwan, uh, that, that, could be, uh, that could be something that uh, Team Singapore can uh, uh, use it against them. Mm. Well, it seems like Singapore have no intention of using a four-man defense right now. Mm. With six minutes down, uh, left, to c uh, left on the clock. Uh, <laughs> 21 points down. Yes. Big catch there by Gerald, the captain. Let's see if uh, Team Singapore can uh, close the, the points difference, close up the gap. Great shot by Team Singapore, Captain Gerald. Great zero step there by Chinese Taipei.
Gerald there with a swag, gets it past the Chinese Taipei left wing. Not going for anything fancy, just going for three steps. But the short quality is great. Chinese Taipei right wing just misses the frame there. Last point. Chinese Taipei with a perfect zero step saw. Wow, that was beautiful timing, beautiful shot. Chinese Left Taipei. wing Tristan goes for a shot again. Great catch by the Chinese Taipei FP. Number 11 by Kao Meng Chung. You can see the M18 boys coach right go there. Great defense by Team Chinese Taipei. Oh, great catch there by Aiden, the right wing from Singapore. Chinese Taipei actually putting number three, the left hander, as their main left wing now. Wow, great read on the defense by Chinese Taipei. FP. Another lost point by the right wing of Chinese Taipei. Now four minutes left in this game. Ah, Gerald. Man, just to get a hand on the ball, but not, not, not good enough. Just on the left wing, finds the gap between the FP and the right wing. A second line shot there. The crowd trying to get Singapore back into it with cheers of let's go Singapore, let's go. Once again, uh, this uh, zero step combo uh, is just too much for Team Singapore defense. Hmm. Great shot there by Aiden, the right wing. He's going for a quick adjustment. Shooting between the FP and the left wing. Chinese Taipei using all three passes. Obstruction actually caught there by the side ref. Chinese Taipei get the ball back. Swing the ball to the other side. Right wing goes for the first shot. Great save, Great save there. Oh. So referee calls it a point scout uh, because uh, one of the player catches the ball while standing inside the, forbid uh, the forbidden zone. Hmm. Great wow. catch there by the Chinese Taipei right wing. Reading that Jovan has only been shooting high mainly. So just takes a takes a step back and catches the ball directly. That's a good uh, read by the Chinese Taipei team. We're left with uh, 1 minute and 42 seconds on the clock and uh, the score now is Chinese Taipei 52 and uh, Team Singapore 34. Well, Chinese Taipei really do uh, do dominating the game right now. The left wing catches the captain's ball, goes for the quick counter, gets the point. Great second line defense by number 10 Chinese Taipei, Lin, Lin Junta. Now with one minute left on the clock, it is a done deal for Chinese Taipei here. But Team Singapore is still going to look to get a few points. Unfortunate drop ball there by, by Gerald. Chinese Taipei will stay on the same side. Using a zero step. Using a zero step sky actually. Wow, but beautiful play, a beautiful great offense, catch by the captain. Beautiful defense by both teams. Second line actually coming in to help save the shot, but great catch by the Taiwanese FP. Wow, he catching the that face easily. ball. Yes. Number nine from uh, Bo, Bo Yu from uh, Chinese Taipei. 
Singapore actually catching the ball on the other side. Tristan going for the face ball. Once parried again. by the FP. Jinder from Chinese Taipei. Stood at a correct position. Oh! oh! Great defense by Team Singapore in the last Ruhan. few seconds of the game. Great uh, dive by Ruhan. But unfortunately, an uh, inaccurate pass to his teammate. And that concludes the finals. And congratulations to Team Chinese Taipei for securing the gold medal. And congratulations to Team Singapore as well uh, for silver.